Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully update our logging page. Right now, there is another page as a, a forget password. Friend, our concept will be just like that same. Here, I want to customize our theme page as a auth recovery uh, password.html. Okay, now I want to, to update in particular that position. So if you want to do that work, first of all, you have to find out that file locations. Right now, we don't need this. I have already done our logging. Okay, here we successfully done it. Right now, our register also will be need needed. I will copy from the login. Like if you go to our view and then the auth and for the forget password, that is our forget password page. Okay, into this forget password, you can see there is also one of the form and they have one of the form method. They have one of the default action. So everything is default. Right now, I'm going to customize it. First of all, I want to select it. I copy it and I save it in here. Okay, now I want to do and update our theme page. If you go to our theme page, that is the our page is auth recovery password.html. I want to do to open with the submit text editor. I copy it and now in our forget password page, I paste it. Our um, JS file and CSS file is the same file that I have already updated in our logging. First of all, I want to update as a recovery password admin. Okay, I simply updated our title. Now from to the locking, I want to copy that CSS link. Okay, so that is our CSS link. I simply copy it now in our forget password here. Here I want to do want to update. Okay, so I simply update. Great. And also I want to update that our JS file. So that is all that our JavaScript file. I copy it from our locking and now in our forget password. Here I want to do and to update. I simply update. Okay. Perfect. So our CSS and JSS link is updated for this theme and also there is some of the images. For the images I want to update that asset. So that will be as a asset and I want to do and to cart it. Okay, simply cart it and I paste it. Also from here I cart it and I paste it. Great. Now that is our password reset and with this password reset they have some of the command right if you go to our default one into this default one you can see they have some of the um, text I want to better copy it and now in our um, forget password area here there is of the strong tag if you want to use some of the strong tag you can use it better I paste it okay I paste it and now um, for the forget password like I make it as a no problem okay no problem I want to make it as a strong okay so i simply make it as a strong and right now we don't need this so that is our default text right i simply updated the default text and now they have also one of the form you can see there is also one of the form we have to update our form if you go like that will be our form i copy it and now if you go to our forget password i want to update it i simply paste it so now that will be uh, post method only I want to take that class name. I cut it and I want to do and to paste it in here Great. I hope it's very clear friend everything is ready made here You don't need to create anything like there is a form and that is on the method as a post method action will be in a route as a password um, Email on the route. Okay, it's very easy all the route is by default created here you can see there is a forget password, there is a password reset in our auth and new password controller store method is a work for this. So that is on the default controller default method. Okay, I simply updated that part. Now there are only one input field. Okay, better I want to make it a little bit left side. And then there is on only one input field and if you want to compare it, so that will be one of the ID as an email, right? I copy it and then that will be one of the ID. I make it ID as email type will be as email and then our name will be needed name will be as email okay so now I simply paste it friend that's all that's all you have to do and then there is our sending mail and that will be one of the submit method which is totally fine so now that should be also updated okay that should be also updated if you not click as a save now if you go now refresh it Hmm, you can see it's not successfully updated as a forget your password and that is an email So when you send it as an email after that send this email that will be sent that email request in our mail Okay, I have already done this job. So now that should be work So here our every pages is now customized it. I have customized that register page I have customized our logging page. It's also successfully working. I have all, all right now customized our 
password base okay so now in our next video i want to do like i simply log in with the user and then our password is one two three four five six seven eight now if you log in right now you are successfully logging so in our next video i want to discuss about our profile okay so here if you want to uh, change that prof profile images if you want to update the profile name username or email address how can change it and also how can change that password reset option with with multiple validation so step by step we'll go more deep as I told you friend, that will be one of the complete project. I will try to explain everything step by step with you. I hope you will like it very much. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.